specifically the new Harpy archetype with Harpy Lady Scratch Clash. This is the new Harpy monster that is actually pretty decent against any deck that requires lots of back row or requires some type of spell to be activated after their monster, maybe an equip card, maybe something along the lines of a archetype that again it needs equip spells. I'm talking about Noble Knights, but let's be honest, Noble Knights, not the most hot deck. But Plunder Patrol is another newer archetype, and this does quite well against it because a lot of them want to go ahead and equip. You can follow up with additional plays after you have your monster with some of their other support. Where the Harpy Lady Scratch Clash has this awesome ability where it's easily summonable by just getting two uh, monsters. It's just uh, one tuner plus one non tuner monsters, and its effect is that you can treat a Harpy monster you control as a tuner uh, for the synchro summon of this card. So its name becomes Harpy Lady while it's on the field of Graveyard. And then when a spell trap or effect is activated as a quick effect, you can target one monster your opponent controls or a Harpy monster you control, return it to the hand. So basically, it allows one disruption play with this archetype and now we've got double of them out we've also got the some bird of sovereignty which is quite great because it allows us to go ahead go for harpist and then during the end phase if it's sent there you get to go ahead and search out and uh go for some more plays here but pretty much this is just an additional like one disruption at the end of the day are harpies going to be competitive because of this new card i don't think so with this card alone you would need to make a, the archetype have a lot more negations. What it does do, though, quite well, is pop back row, uh, which you guys will see up uh, over here very soon. We're going to go ahead and see some more duels uh, with this uh, deck. And uh, it's, again, it's kind of the same uh, thing as before with Harpies. The main win condition in Harpies is pretty much Featherstorm as well as Hysteric Party. But Featherstorm really shuts down your opponent completely for the rest of the turn. And being able to bounce back a card can be quite nice as well, just in case you need to bait out that one negation before going for it. So we're going to check it up against another deck that had uh, seemed to get a lot more popular due to, of course, the newer ban list, and that would be the Zodiac Archetype. This deck does definitely play lots of back row. Mystic Mind is not going to be doing anything against Harpies because obviously Harpies can play around. Uh, that quite easy with, of course, the hunting ground. So once uh, Featherstorm is activated, um, <clears throat> as long as you control a Harpy monster, you can activate it from your hand. But uh, if this card in its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you get a, a Harpy's Feather Duster. Unfortunately, we can't use that effect. But uh, uh, so it looks your only thing. Uh, but anyways, until the end of this turn, you get to negate the effects of uh, any monster effects that your opponent activates. So basically, shuts them down for the rest of the turn. So he's stuck with the Zodiac uh, Shock but it doesn't really matter because Perfumer's just going to go ahead and tackle over it. Also, another important thing that I do want to mention is Perfumer actually becomes a lot better because of the other effect. Then normally you'd have to play Harpy Lady Sisters or a card that would count, and the Synchro will be a, a really easy card to access right into that. So we've got uh, two monsters and then, of course, the Featherstorm, but the main thing that I like with this is it just allows you to go ahead and be able to just bounce back a card. So we're going to go ahead and see him be forced to destroy his own card because this is a mandatory effect. You can't technically pop this itself, but this card, again, has to actually uh, pop a card. So he's going to go ahead and be required to pop it anyways. And then we're going to go ahead and see the Alluring Mirror split. Um, most of the Harpy cards are a little bit too slow to be viable in most meta games, but what I do like with this uh, ability is Scratch Clash, because it happens to be a level 8 Synchro monster, it just has to actually have that it is a Harpy Lady, um, more so. Because anyways, uh, this has the effect of um, if you control a level 5 or higher Harpy monster when you activate this effect, which is um, when this card... Uh, this name becomes harpy lady while it's on the field of graveyard but if it's normal or special you get to add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand that specifically lists harpy lady sisters but if you control this card what you're going to be able to do is actually add a second card with a different name so that lets you basically go plus two with that uh, combo over here i'm going to watch it uh, one more time against the plunder patrol archetype and there's also a few really cool cards that you can play in the deck like unexpected die that allows you to go right into of course the plays for Scratch Clash. So basically, again, it just has some okay-ish uh, matchups uh, against, again, things that would have lots of back row and altergeist. Um, this deck, it does require follow-up. Again, it would have a good Noble Knight matchup for the most part because, again, they'd have to act with something you just bounce back the card and they can't really do anything. So he goes ahead and makes the uh, Patrol Ship list over here. And then now uh, we've got the split. This is actually a really nasty card uh, if it stays up on board. But whenever a um, 
if, if this card you control is destroyed by a Harpy card's effect, you target a Harpy monster graveyard and special summon it. But when a Harpy lady or Harpy lady's sisters you control is destroyed by battle, you just special summon another Harpy. So it's it's basically, a, it makes all of them floaters, essentially, which is kind of nice. But again, most Yu-Gi-Oh decks will just bounce back all your cards or negate everything before you get uh, easy access to getting these effects multiple times. That is the main problem that uh, most archetypes uh, have these days in Yu-Gi-Oh, is just that... Uh, you just can't compete with what's in the meta. And uh, anyways, uh, there's also the new Jinzo uh, archetype that did get some extra support, which is kind of cool too. But uh, again, I'd say it's just kind of outdated for the most part, unfortunately. But he's able to go and pop that. This is a nice little play over here. So he's popping this, and then he's going to summon another copy of Scratch Clash. So you can go ahead and double these. And then once you have double of these, followed up by a Hysteric Party, which basically becomes one of these and then Hysteric Party, uh, because you can go ahead and make this quite easy the following turn, because usually you can search so like it, it does have potential to go ahead and get a lot of advantage if the deck uh, eventually gets to a grind game i would say this archive does have a okay-ish chance but again for the most part the win condition becomes feather storm negate everything your opponent does and then you win because your opponent literally could not Yu-Gi-Oh, and then you just pop all of the back row that's how the deck wants to play um it would not be the best going second deck because again you wouldn't have access to it. okay the Jin jinzo that that's for uh another day but uh anyways if you guys want to see the jinzo stuff and you're new here make sure you guys are subscribed turn on the bell so you don't miss out on that but today we're covering harpies uh but i already have the gameplay and i'll show it to you guys very soon uh shout out to my stardust wide for hooking me up with the play of his harpy build over here now you can play some hand traps but this is a more pure variant just going straight for the main plays with the uh, multiple copies of harpy lady and unexpected die if you want to maybe you can throw in that rabbit for those cheeky little plays where you can get double of them but nonetheless uh, three copies of Harpy Lady for, again, an unexpected die here. And plus, I guess it's the vanilla that you can keep on utilizing. Then we have Harpy Queen to go ahead and search out the field spell. And two copies of Harpist. And then we have three copies of Perfumer. Again, Perfumer becomes significantly better because of the new Synchro Monster. Who knows if this is going to be it for the archetype? There might be a lot more. Uh, that we're getting so this could be just you know something we can make use of because I remember before it was always Chandler going to the pet dragon and then you go for big eye that was like the cool play back in the day with this archetype but again it's just not that viable in 2020 and then we've got a uh, harpy oracle over here which is quite a nice little card over here uh just another special summon to go ahead and extend your combo maybe you can play through a hand trap here and then dancer is able to bounce back a card and it lets you pop more cards but this effect is just not that great nowadays in Yu-Gi-Oh. again people just don't set cards and if they set in cards they're probably going to negate your effects anyways uh three copies of unexpected die in this build then we have uh two copies of feather rest this is basically like a pot of avarice uh, if you will for the archetype but it happens to have the, the Harpy Lady Sisters in its text over there. And then we have Upstar Goblin and three copies of Elegant Egotist. So this just lets you extend your copies of basically Monster Reborn. And then three copies of Hysteric Sign. If you're wondering why I don't play Reborn, it's just because this card is like easily searchable. And then Hysteric Sign is a really fantastic card, adding three Harpy cards with different names. Uh, and then we have two copies of the Alluring Mirror Split. You guys saw that combo, which was pretty cool. Again, allowing you to go for double copies of Scratch Clash. Uh, for this deck, I definitely think that you could use some extra uh, draw power, like it, whether you decide to play Extravagance, because you can just triple up on a lot of the stuff and you'll be okay. I'd say Extravagance or Desires could be an excellent option as well, just to make the deck start rolling a little bit faster, uh, because technically this, I guess, is draw power, but in order to be competitive, you need to put some hand traps in here. I know this is just a pure variant, but uh, I think if you guys want to take it to the next level, that would be ideal, because again, um, to, to get this effect, to search it off, you gotta wait like a turn, because uh, remember, you can only activate uh, you can only use one Hysteric Sign effect per turn, and only once that turn. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, Harpy's Hunting Ground, and then Trap Trick, which can actually copy your Feather Storm, which basically stops your opponent from playing. And then also, Hysteric Party is another fantastic card for the deck, because of, of course, being able to just go ahead and special summon as many Harpies as possible, uh, and then you can go ahead and make really cool plays like Chidori. But again, a lot of these cards have just lost their value simply due to the way that the Yu-Gi-Oh! game has actually gone. Uh, but anyways, for the extra deck, here's what we've got. We've got the two copies of Scratch clash we got the din gear suit if you want to overlay two of these as it is an option just in case you need some of that non-targeting removal it is good for that tornado dragon another one of those awesome cards this card is actually not that bad um if you want to try to turbo it out but because it does require two monsters to make this and this is what we're trying to make uh, you could definitely go Historic Party and make this card, and then uh, this has an awesome effect where it uh, your opponent can't target any Harpy monsters with effects or attacks. 
Uh, but uh, with Lightning Storm out of the game, you have good luck trying to get that direct attack several times before you actually rip. But it's still a pretty decent little card. True Kaiju Jidori, excellent, excellent card. And then you can also F Zero uh, in the deck. And then, uh, of course, we've got the Utopic Future here. Then we've got Boral Sword, some Morg, um, two copies of some Morg, and three copies of Conductor. Fantastic card. Uh, as well, you can destroy a spell or trap. If the uh, Harpy Monster you control will be destroyed battle by card effect, and then you can go ahead and proc their other effects. And then on top of that, if you can get, the ideal goal is to make this. I understand what they were trying to go for. If a face up Harpy Monster you control returns to your hand, except they're in damage type, you target a special monster your opponent controls and return to the hand. If you want to actually bounce back one of your cards, let's say you happen to have like another Harpy card, and then they target it to destroy it, mind control it, whatever the case may be, whatever, you go ahead and bounce that card back to your hand. Then you can activate this and go ahead and target special monster and bounce back to them. They need more negations, again, to be more viable. But anyways, that's kind of how the Harpy uh, Synchro deck works with the new Harpy build for 2020. Um, if you guys want to make some suggestions for this build, you guys can definitely let me know in the comment section below. I know this one, again, was more so just trying to be more pure here with the build. But I definitely think hand traps, some sort of draw power can be uh, great to add into the deck. But who knows? Maybe they'll add a lot more support to make the deck, again, more viable. Because literally, this is the only newer card here. But people are really hyped up. I mean... They are also, uh, if you guys don't know, they are reprinting a lot of the original Harpy artwork, so it would make sense for them to go ahead and make this a little bit better with, of course, adding some newer cards. But let me know, guys, what you think Harpies actually need to make the deck much better in the comment section below. But thanks for tuning in, guys, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here, subscribe, turn on that bell. If you don't want to miss out on that Jinzo stuff, the Jinzo stuff is actually kind of cool, uh, and also there's the new Time Wizard that we'll cover very soon. And if you guys want to send me other replays just like my boy Stars YGL, feel free to do so at AsianizedReplays at gmail.com. Just attach the Warp file be featured on the channel and thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next one peace